In the previous video, we've seen one method of differentiating y equals a to the power of x. Uh, in this video, we're going to consider the second method, logarithmic differentiation. Okay, so so whenever you want to differentiate uh, uh, something to the power of x here, in your mind think about e and think about the natural log. So so this so so here's the second method of differentiating this. Um, start by uh, by by taking the natural log of both sides. That would then Give you this, okay? So, so from here, log log equally to both sides. Then that will then give you this, okay? So, so don't forget. So, so here, this is your bubble here. Take the log of that. That will give you this. But remember, one of the um, well, w one of the laws on logs is that you, whenever you log something to the power of another thing, you can actually take this out. So, uh, so that's also true with the natural log. So, if, if you natural log a to the power of x here. You can actually take this out here. Okay, so so now if, if you if you are logging this bubble here, you can actually take the x out here. So that will then give you this. Okay, so uh, so that will then give you this. And remember, in, in one of the earlier videos, we've already seen this here. Uh, if you differentiate log of x, that will give you this. Okay, so just bear that in mind here. Okay, well anyway, back to this. Uh, so so start out with this. Natural log both sides. That then that will give you that will give you this thing here, and then and then one of the laws on logs is that you you can actually take this out. So so it looks like this. And so at the moment what you've got here is you've got a bubble here multiplying another bubble here. And don't forget this bubble here is just a constant. It's it's just a number that doesn't change because for example if you um if you look at y equals seven to the power of x here. This is your your constant. This here is your a. Okay, and then if you look at the if you look at the function uh, log of x here, this is your log of x. Well, this is you putting so seven is here. So it's you putting the seven into this thing here, and then it will take you to this this place here. Well, this place here doesn't change. It's a constant. So this log a is a constant. It's just a number that doesn't change. Okay, but so so start with this. Log natural log both sides that will then give you this. Take the x out here, and then here you've got a bubble multiplying with another bubble here. So this is like um, this is a number that doesn't change. Okay, so now now when you're here, uh, use implicit differentiation. Remember that y here is a function of x. That means you've got to use the chain rule. Okay, y is a function of x. So so whenever you have a y here, well, well, well okay. So so from here. Uh, different uh, use implicit differentiation here. So whenever you want to differentiate, um, differentiate this here. So th this is like a bubble here. Okay. So differentiate this. This will then give you uh, one over y because up here. Hang on. Because look, remember uh, one of the videos uh, we we settled this here. Uh, whenever you want to differentiate something, a uh, log of something, it will give you one over something. So so starting with this here, if you want to differentiate this, that will then give you uh, one over one over y. But because y is a function of x, you you've got to differentiate. You've got to multiply it with dy by dx. So so differentiating this will then give you uh, give you this thing here. Because if you differentiate uh, log of uh, log of y, that will then give you this. But because y is a function of x, you've got to times it by dy by dx. So, so this bit here will give you this, okay? And then this. Don't forget, this is like um, one bubble multiplying with another bubble here. So, um, so when you differentiate this, it will just—it's like me giving you this here. Differentiate this. Um, if you so, so this here is like three x. Differentiate, uh, differentiate this with respect to x. That will just give you three. So here, when you differentiate this with respect to x, it will just give you this constant here. Okay, so so this thing here, using implicit differentiation, it will give you this. So now your aim is to get dy by dx on its own. So here, multiply both sides by by y, just just so that you can kill off, uh, just so that you can kill off this thing here. Okay, so multiply both sides by y. That will then give you this here. Okay, and and remember that y. Remember this y here is. Hang on, this y here is a to the power of x y equals a to the power of x. So y is a to the power of x. So that means you can put um, you can put that into into uh, into this 
Uh, remember y is a to the power of x. So you can put this into here. Okay, so that becomes this. So um, so overall dy by dx equals this thing here times this thing here. Okay, so so hang on. Hang on. Let, let, let me just run through this again. So this one here, take the natural log of both sides. That will then give you this. So now take the x out here. That will then give you this. That will then give you this. And then, uh, and then now use implicit differentiation from here. Use implicit differentiation. It will then take you to this and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, uh, so overall, it will be natural log of a times, times the original a to the power of x. Okay. So in, in general, hang on. Remember that if you want to, um, if you want to differentiate natural log of, uh, of one, sorry, natural log of, of x, that will then, Give you if you differentiate this here, it will give you one over x. So so if you have something like this, if you have the natural log of something complicated, let's say two x squared plus uh, seven x here. So if you want to take the natural log of this, um, think of it as as being natural log of the bubble, and don't forget the bubble is a function of x. So later on you've got to different you've got to multiply it with d d bubble by dx. So 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 if, if you have something complicated, let's say 2x, uh, hang on, plus 7, blah, blah, blah here. So, so visualize this as, uh, as, uh, as this here. So when you differentiate this, it will be 1 over the bubble, okay, 1 over the bubble here, which is um, 2x squared plus 7x here, uh, plus 7x here. And then you've got to times, because this bubble here is a function of x, you've got to times it by... Well, you've got to differentiate the bubble. So times and then differentiate the bubble here. So that will be 4x plus 7. So you've got to do that. Okay, so, so this then gets multiplied to the top and blah, blah. So just bear that in mind. Okay.